For months, Russia said that its main objective was to capture the Ukrainian territory of Donbas. But on Wednesday, Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov said that Russia's military focus in Ukraine was no longer only the east of the country. In an interview with Russian state media, he implied Moscow's strategy had changed after the West supplied Ukraine with longer-range weapons. Lavrov said that Russia would now have to push Ukrainian forces further from the front line to ensure its own security. Listen in. When there was a Istanbul meeting with the leaders, there was one geography. And our readiness to accept the Ukrainian proposal depended on that geography, on the geography of the end of March 2022. Сейчас... То есть ДНР и ЛНР? Ну, так, если... Более-менее. Более Сейчас география другая. Это далеко не только ДНР ЛНР, это еще и Херсонская область, Запорожская область и ряд других территорий. И этот процесс продолжается. Причем продолжается последовательно и настойчиво. Now this map on your screens is currently the state of the war. Five months on. Russia has occupied parts of the east and south of the country, but it failed in its original aim, which was of capturing Kiev, and has since claimed its main objective was the liberation of Donbas. Now, the apparent expansion of Russia's objectives was not a surprise to the United States. However, on Tuesday, U.S. National Security Council spokesperson John Kirby, who said that Russia was making plans to annex large swathes of Ukrainian territory has accused Moscow of using a similar playbook to its takeover of Crimea in the year 2014. Meanwhile, according to Russian media, officials in the Russian-occupied city of Enerhodar in southeastern Ukraine have started handing out Russian passports to local residents. Twenty-five residents living in the region have already received passports. This after Russian President Vladimir Putin signed a decree in July giving all citizens of Ukraine a simplified way to obtain Russian citizenship. Now, the region's Russian installed authorities have floated the idea of holding a referendum on joining Russia, a move that Ukraine has called illegal. While Russia controls the majority of Zafirzia region along Ukraine's southern coast, Ukraine's military still controls the northern part, including the city itself which is the largest urban center and home to more than half of the region's pre-war population.